The United States national cricket team is the team that represents the United States in international cricket. The team was formerly organized by the United States of America Cricket Association which became an associate member of the International Cricket Council in 1965. However, the organization was expelled in 2017 following the ICC's concerns about the USACA's governance and finances. On September 24, ICC Americas announced that a newly formed governing body, known as USA Cricket would take over the team and governance of the sport in the U.S., starting in 2018. Until the board is established, the team will be run by ICC Americas administrators. On December 18, 2017 a new constitution was approved for the USA Cricket and elections will take place in 2018. U.S. representative team was a participant in the first international cricket match, played against Canada in 1844. However, until the late 20th century the U.S. national team made only infrequent appearances against other international teams, generally only playing against Canada in the annual Audi Cup or against touring teams. The U.S. made its international tournament debut at the 1979 ICC Trophy in England, and since then has missed only two editions of the tournament now known as the World Cup qualifier. After winning the 2004 ICC Six Nations Challenge, the team qualified for the 2004 ICC Champions Trophy, playing its sole one-day international matches to date. In the World Cricket League, the U.S. has qualified for the 2017 Division III tournament. The team's current head coach is Pubudu Dasanayaki. In April 2018, the ICC decided to grant full 2020 international status to all its members. Therefore, all 2020 matches played between the United States and other ICC members after 1 January 2019 will be a full T20I. Topic: History. Beginnings The British brought cricket to the Thirteen Colonies in the early 18th century. Cricket further grew in the 18th century. It is understood from anecdotal evidence that George Washington was a strong supporter of cricket, participating on at least one occasion in a game of cricket with his troops at Valley Forge during the American Revolution. John Adams was recorded as saying in Congress that if leaders of cricket clubs could be called presidents. There was no reason why the leader of the new nation could not be called the same. In 1844, the United States participated in the first international cricket match. This was played against Canada at the St. George's Cricket Club ground, Bloomingdale Park, New York. This first international sporting event was attended by 20,000 people and established the longest international sporting rivalry in the modern era. Wagers of around $120,000 were placed on the outcome of the match. This is equivalent to around $1.5 million in 2007. Sides from England toured North America, taking in both the USA and Canada following the English cricket seasons of 1859, 1868, and 1872. These were organized as purely commercial ventures. Most of the matches of these early touring teams were played against odds. That is to say the home team was permitted to have more than 11 players usually 22 in order to make a more even contest. Decline In spite of cricket's popularity in the 18th and early 19th centuries, the game was supplanted by baseball in the 1850s and 1860s. As interest in baseball rose, the rules of that game were changed slightly to increase its popularity. For example, easily manufactured round bats were introduced to contrast the flat bats of cricket. Another reason for cricket's decline in popularity may be that in the late 19th century American cricket remained an amateur sport reserved for the wealthy while England and Australia were developing a professional version of the game. As cricket standards improved with professionalism elsewhere in the world many North American cricket clubs stayed stubbornly elitist. Clubs such as Philadelphia and Marion abandoned cricket and converted their facilities to other sports. Some city cricket clubs unknowingly contributed to their own demise by sponsoring auxiliary baseball teams. By 1900 baseball had taken over the American scene and created its independent mythology. 
The formation of the Imperial Cricket Conference in 1909 also helped to keep the popularity of the game down. It certainly undercut any momentum to professionalize cricket in the USA, although whether the momentum would have developed even in the presence of a more open ICC remains a question. Regardless of its cause, the game did not flourish in the United States the way it did in the British Empire. From the 1880s until the outbreak of World War I, the American game was dominated not by the national side, but by an amateur team from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A tour of North America by the Australians in 1913 saw two first-class games both won by the tourists against a combined Canada-USA team. Philadelphian cricket The Philadelphian cricket team was a team that represented Philadelphia in first-class cricket between 1878 and 1913. Even though the United States had played the first ever international cricket match against Canada in 1844, the sport began a slow decline in the country. This decline was furthered by the rise in popularity of baseball. In Philadelphia, however, the sport remained very popular and from the end of the 19th century until the outbreak of World War I, the city produced a first-class team that rivaled many others in the world. The team was composed of players from the four chief cricket clubs in Philadelphia Germantown, Marion, Belmont, and Philadelphia. Players from smaller clubs, such as Tioga and Moorestown, and local colleges, such as Haverford and Penn, also played for the Philadelphians. Over its 35 years, the team played in 89 first-class cricket matches. Of those, 29 were won, 46 were lost, 13 were drawn, and one game was abandoned before completion. Arguably, the greatest American cricketer ever played for Philadelphia during this period. John Barton King was a very skilled batsman, but really proved his worth as a bowler. During his career, he set numerous records in North America and at least one first class bowling record. He competed with and succeeded against the best cricketers in the world from England and Australia. King was the dominant bowler on his team when it toured England in 1897, 1903, and 1908. He dismissed batsmen with his unique delivery, which he called, "...the angler", and helped to perfect swing bowling in the sport. Many of the great bowlers of today still use the strategies and techniques that he developed. Sir Pelham Warner described Bart King as one of the finest bowlers of all time, and Donald Bradman called him, "...America's greatest cricketing son." On June 28, 1913 the Philadelphians played the last first-class game on the mainland for more than 90 years. Games were played in the U.S. Virgin Islands in the interim, which is considered as part of the West Indies by the ICC. The team had played an American national side six times between 1885 and 1894. The United States team won one of these matches, lost two, and earned a draw in three. Cricket remained a minor pastime in the United States until the mid-1960s, when ICC reforms allowed associate members to join. Status from 1965 In 1965, Clifford Severn made his USA debut at 39, alongside his young brother Winston, in a two-day match against Canada at Calgary's Riley Park as part of the longest-running international rivalry in international cricket, now known as the Audi Cup. A year later in the return contest at the C. Aubrey Smith Field in Los Angeles, USA won by 54 runs. In 1965, the Imperial Cricket Conference changed its name to the International Cricket Conference. In addition, new rules were adopted to permit the election of countries from outside the Commonwealth. This led to the expansion of the conference, with the admission of associate members, including the United States. Today cricket is played in all 50 states. The USA have played in every edition of the ICC Trophy, though they didn't pass the first round until the 1990 tournament in the Netherlands. They reached the plate final of the 1994 tournament, but opted not to play due to prior travel arrangements. They finished 12th in 1997. Topic: 21st century. Topic: 2000 to 09. USA finished 6th in the 2001 ICC Trophy, their best performance to date. 
They have also played in every edition of the ICC Americas Championship, winning in 2002. In 2004, the United States cricket team played a first class match as part of the first ICC Intercontinental Cup. The matches against Canada and Bermuda were the first in many years. The team won the ICC Six Nations Challenge beating Scotland, Namibia, the Netherlands, and the UAE on net run rate by 0.028 of a run. Winning the ICC Six Nations meant that they qualified for the ICC Champions Trophy 2004 in England. Here the USA played their first ever one-day international match against New Zealand at the Oval on September 10, 2004. The US side was beaten by New Zealand and lost to Australia in the tournament. As well, the 2005 ICC trophy represented a chance for the USA to re-establish themselves on the world stage and qualify for the 2007 World Cup. A poor showing saw them finish at the bottom of their group with four losses and a match abandoned due to rain from their five group fixtures. This failure robbed the USA of the prize of full one-day international status on offer to the World Cup qualifiers. This failure was compounded on August 9, 2005 when the ICC expelled the USA from the 2005 ICC Intercontinental Cup. The USA made their return to international cricket in August 2006 when they participated in Division I of the ICC Americas Championship in Canada. They finished second in the five team tournament. In May 2007, the USA were to visit Darwin, Australia to take part in Division III of the ICC World Cricket League. A top two finish in this tournament would have qualified them for Division II of the same tournament later in the year. Unfortunately, the United States of America Cricket Association was suspended from the ICC and the team was pulled from this competition. The suspension was due to an internal dispute over a constitution for the USACA. The dispute was resolved in early 2008, and the suspension was lifted on April 1 of that year. The team's reinstatement permitted them to enter the World Cricket League in Division 5 for 2008 in Jersey. The team made it through the group stage tied for first in their division with a 4 0 record, one match abandoned, but lost both their semi final match with Jersey and their third place playoff with Nepal. Topic 2010 present USA finished second in the 2010 Division 5 after losing the final against Nepal and won promotion to 2010 Division 4. They continued their climb in more emphatic style by finishing first in 2010 Division 4, demolishing Italy in the final. They were promoted to 2011 Division 3 where they took last place and were relegated to 2012 Division 4. There they finished in second place, and were promoted back to 2013 Division 3. They remained in Division 3 after finishing in third place, but were relegated after finishing fifth in 2014 Division 3. In the 2016 Division 4 the USA finished second, with a 3–2 record and was promoted to 2017 Division 3. In the 2017 Division 3 competition, the USA finished fourth, with a 2–3 record. The third place match was rained out and finished with no result. The USA will remain in Division 3. USA registered their first win against the Kenyans. The United States were the other team to be promoted, after they beat Singapore in the final match of the tournament. It was the first time that the United States had gained promotion to Division II of the WCL. <laughs> 2015 suspension on June 26, 2015, the ICC again suspended USACA, this time because an ICC review had expressed significant concerns about the governance, finance, reputation and cricketing activities of USACA. This suspension does not impact the national team playing matches, but instead cuts off ICC funding and stops USACA from being able to approve any events held in the USA although the ICC can still approve events held in the United States. This suspension will be upheld until USACA can show the ICC that, "...conditions relating to governance, finance and its cricket activities," have improved. Topic. 2017 expulsion of USACA 
On June 22, 2017, at the ICC Annual Conference 2017 in London, the ICC expelled USACA by unanimous vote due to USACA's refusal to ratify an ICC-approved constitution. The ICC Full Council voted unanimously to expel USACA following a board recommendation in April and a recent dispute resolution committee hearing before the Honourable Michael Beloff QC, which concluded in June 2017. New Governing Body Foundation, USA Cricket On September 24, 2017 the new USA Cricket Governing Body launched a new brand and a new vision for cricket in the United States of America. More recently a brand new website at https colon slash slash www.usacricket.org slash was launched and on December 18, 2017 a constitution for the governing body was approved by the ICC as approved constitution marks historic landmark for cricket in USA USA Cricket is an organization in development that seeks to unify the United States based cricket community and become the sole US governing body for the sport of cricket recognized by both the international National Cricket Council and the United States Olympic Committee Through a diverse board of directors, that will be elected by April 2018 and have representation from most cricket stakeholder groups, USA Cricket hopes to lead the sport to new heights by creating and administering value-added programs to grow and develop the sport at all levels. Tournament history Stadiums The only U.S. cricket stadium to meet international standards is Central Broward Regional Park in Lauderhill, Florida. Another well-established facility that has hosted international cricket is Leo Magnus Cricket Complex in Los Angeles. A facility in Indianapolis called the Indianapolis World Sports Park opened in 2014. Coaching staff Head coach, Pubudu Dasanayaki Manager, Kirk Higgins Physio, Malik Punchali Captains Eight players have represented the United States as captain. The first captain of the USA was Anil Kashkari in 1979. He captained the team through three matches, two of which the USA won. Richard Staple is the only USA captain to captain the side in a one-day international, which occurred in 2004. The USA lost both matches. Overall with Staple as captain the USA played 16 matches, of which they won four and lost 12. After Staple retired in 2005 Steve Messiah was given the captaincy. For the 2012 ICC World 2020 qualifier the captaincy was given to Sushil Nadkarni. In October 2013, Neil McGarrell was named USA's captain in a 15-man squad for the 2013 ICC World 2020 qualifier in the UAE. McGarrell had played four tests and 17 Otis for West Indies between 1998 and 2001. He made his debut for USA in 2012 against Canada and takes over from Steve Messiah who had captained for seven years. In October 2018, Saurabh Netravelkar took over as captain of the team, after Ibrahim Khalil was sacked. See also Cricket in the United States United States national under-19 cricket team Major League Cricket Pro Cricket List of United States of America ODI cricketers USA Cricket – Governing Body Notes <laughs>